Hey, what's going on everybody? I just got back from the store with my third box of 16 ounce pint cans. I got a question the other day. Somebody asked, they had made the comment that, wow, that's a lot of beer just to make a couple hats. That's absolutely right. So this is a lot of beer and it does get expensive, which is why you can't really do this as a lucrative business unless you've got somebody helping you supply the boxes for your artwork or you have friends that can donate and help out the cause. Alright, so what I'm trying to do right here, I've got um, another, I've got a box that's been taken apart. <clears throat> See, this is how it goes. You got to be very careful on separating this seam all the way across because if not you're going to rip into the logo which you can see right here uh, I ripped that one and so now it's not perfect and now that I went and spent money on another box I've got to figure out how I can salvage something but you can see they come from the store already blemished which really sucks all right so we're back <clears throat> what I want to do is go over this this template with you real quick I just took this and you know I cut it out of a 24 pack can box and I've drawn out all my dimensions that I want to use to transfer my pieces onto onto this to glue it okay so here I've got all my pieces laid out this is going to be the, the sides, this is going to be the front, this is going to be the back. And what I've done is I've got this <clears throat> separated so that when you spread it out and then fold everything together, it's all going to come together like it's supposed to. Basically what's going to happen, these fold over like that. This will be right here, this will be right there, and that's going to be right there, and it's all going to match up. And what I would typically do on my normal hats is this section here would flap over like this, so this would be on the outside, but I'm going to take this one and flip it on the inside, that way it keeps this flap right here from wanting to come up. And, and fall out you tuck it under like this this panel right here helps secure it better plus you'll be able to see this whole label of Miller Lite because if I were to take this and fold it over it would obstruct part of the logo here so we're going to take and tuck it in here this will be on this side right here so it'll still be able to be visible and uh, yeah let me go ahead and put that together and then I'll show you guys what it looks like I've tried a couple of different um, adhesives on here and the best thing I've come up with is 3M Super 77 I've tried the Gorilla Glue spray and it doesn't work as well but uh, Super 77 is the best so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a light coat over the top of this and then I will start to spray it on the back of my pieces and lay everything out.
And you see I did not go all the way up on that because it's not necessary because it's going to be behind that and it's going to be hidden. So what we can do now is trim off some of this excess. Get it out of the way because we're not going to need it. All right, so now I'm just going to go over it one good time the roller and get its label pressed all the way down. Make sure that the, all my seams are properly put together. First, before I do anything else, I'm going to take some clear transparent scotch tape and go over these seams here and here and here and here. So that way when the hat actually folds and bends, the, um, the material won't come apart. So I'll do that now. Um, apparently I just lost some, some footage of me putting that together. So I'll get to show you what it looks like on the other side. And then, like I said, for this one, we're going to loop on the inside instead of doing it on the outside. It would, it would look, it would look like that. So we're gonna go on the inside. All right. So now here is the finished product for the crown. Everything's all buttoned up and ready to go. Um, I think I'm gonna end up doing a cowboy style hat with this. It's gonna require a lot more logos than um, I really want to get. I still got uh, four of them here, and that's pretty much just going to cover cover the top. And then I'll have to get some more for the bottom. But yeah, if I do a cowboy style hat, I'll sit on there just like that. All right, so that is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you for tuning in. And after you subscribe, remember to hit that bell so that you're notified when I upload more steps onto this hat build.